today we're going to be visiting Firex in his world of the Avatar. Can you tell us a little bit about this map, my dear? Uh, currently we're here. This is an old map that I built a couple years back on the 360 edition of Minecraft. This is the Southern Water Temple. Yeah, Southern Water Temple from Avatar: The Last Airbender. It was not the best picture that I could find. But it was the only one that I could find that actually depicted as much of the village as possible. Oh, it turned out rather well. You have the emblem in the floor for the water tribe, I see. And a lovely shrine. Yeah, the big central building. We got some of the camps, uh, some of the tents. Heading up here to the northern water tribe now. It's not finished. I never did finish this one. Yes, it appears to be rather... Flat. Well, I tend to build on super <laughs> flat. Oh my, rather large. Yeah, that wall was a pain to erect. It took a minute. It turned out very well, though. Oh, oh. very nice. Got little statues here, waterway. The statues were fun. I can imagine. There are a couple of hidden passageways out in the waterways, but I forget exactly where they're at. I do like the color scheme with the blues and the whites. None of the houses are decorated. <laughs> well, that allows the people that move in to decorate as they see fit. And now we're going to go visit another one of Pyrex's maps, fondly called Going Brandon. Yeah, we just decided to start a new map. Yeah. Cool. Well, there was oh, there that was huge cavern, cavern down there, and we really wanted to do something with that. And yeah. you definitely did yeah, something so. with that. There's stalagmites, there's some bees. Yeah, stalagmite generator. You can actually mine those out, and they'll just continuously regrow. Oh, well, that's awesome. Makes it a lot easier to find them. I'm not even certain you need the water on top of it. I can't remember. Is our little mask? Hmm. Hello, Stan. Always, Always gotta have Stan the man. My bees? Don't fucking touch my bees. <laughs> <laughs> They're so happy. And they'll stay that way until you touch them. Well, we don't touch them. We just use them for the honey. Ah, the entrance. Yeah, itty bitty building up top and than this down below. Oh, I remember anyway. making the stairs on mine. It was such a fucking bitch. Turn this area into a bit of a fountain and pool. Lava, of course. We'll go across the chasm here. Not much built in terms of a castle, but I do have a storage and processing facility over here. And in here... The forge. Got some self-filling cauldrons. Oh, very These nice. Will fill with water over time. Awesome. Here's our forge. This is an automatic bone meal maker. Just throw in a crap load of plants up in the top hopper up here. Yeah. They'll turn into bone meal as it fills up, and then it just drains it right into the chest afterward. Awesome. Let's see if I can find something here. Uh, saplings? Yeah, saplings will work. Let me some of these. And just throw these in here. And you can see it's... Oh, I can oh, hear it. it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Then once it gets enough in there, it'll empty out. Oh, there it went. Oh, cool. 
it's a good way to get rid of excess plants if you happen to just have a neck you know a buttload of those saplings nice oh a lava farm self-filling lava cauldrons very nice up there is a steam of lava but the way those are positioned you're not going to be able to see it I think and then this is they're the furnaces oh self-loading and self-unloading you always have automated stuff i can't build that shit it's pretty easy when you actually uh just work with it a little, little bit yeah but see i'm the decorator i do the house decorating i i do the internal you know, making sure we have the hot tubs and the, the big screen TVs and the, the couches and the marshmallow pits, you know, I mean, that's my job. <laughs> hey, my interior decoration skills suck, so someone's got to be able to do it. Yes, but see, we balance it out because your interior decorating skills suck and my tech building shit sucks. And you can build, I mean, this, at one point he had a rail system that delivered mail. You could put things way across the map and it would deliver shit to people to their appropriate houses if you put it in this certain way it was unreal yeah it used to work and then we had the merger of bedrock and java and it hasn't functioned since then so it's still showing us how the furnace itself yeah my dumbass has loaded it up with the wrong fuel here so i gotta wait for the blocks to throw itself through there Oh my, just chucking the lava buckets out on the floor. The hey, floor is lava. <laughs> well, the system's filled with lava, so I gotta get rid of this crap. Uh -huh. uh, let's see if we can find something that can actually go in to be processed. Uh, there we go, cobblestone. Let's get some of that. You like it? My goodness. Up here, throw these in processing. Okay, so. Grab the wood. Alright. Alright. So the left chute is for fuel, the right chute is for materials. Okay. It'll pull in fuel automatically as necessary. It feeds it into the back. And then, or sorry, feeds it into the side of the hoppers through either direct top or direct back I'm not entirely certain which but um, one side feeds in fuel the other side feeds in the material and then there's a hopper on the other underside that pulls it out when it's done and ships it over there to the chest nice it's actually pretty rare to get anything more than one or two of the furnaces <laughs> working at one time this is a power hammer. Yes, it is. Now, we did post a video of that working, but go ahead and... There we go. Oh, man, that sounds horrible. It does sound horrible, but it's still awesome because it looks like a power hammer. I mean, at least it works. You can see the little hammer going up and down there. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds horrible. Yeah. What'd you do to me? I'm going to go in here to the sorting facility. This, I do not take credit for the design of this one. This is done from a design on YouTube. I think either Mumbo Jumbo or someone else. Probably Mumbo Jumbo. He does a lot of that crap. Anything that isn't sorted out gets pulled into this chest here. And you can kind of see between these tiny little areas where those extra hoppers are. I am <laughs> not going to dig into this. <laughs> I don't blame you there. Let's see. Chandeliers. Uh, let's see if I can put something in here. Uh, what to do? Yeah. Do I have wood? Wood is not assigned. Um. All right. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Stone. Stone works. Uh, dirt. There we go. All right. We'll try and sort the. Okay. I got cobblestone. 
Do I have sort the dirt? Oh, that's up in there. Some of that has the spots, some of it doesn't. Apparently dirt's not being processed. My dumbass forgot what's in here. <laughs> it says dirt's moving. There, oh, it, there is. it is. It's moving now. So it takes it a second. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is a, a little bit of a distance between them. Yeah. Please pardon me. I need to cough. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Stone. There we are. Working. Well, it is an interesting looking system. I like how it looks with the, the plaques on the front. I really like that aspect where we could put pictures of things that were in the chests. Because trying to write them on those tiny little freaking plaques was such a pain in the ass. Uh, there is a whole bunch of crap you can do with item frames. Oh, yeah. And now I don't have to worry about it. Especially for somebody that is has vision issues having, having to try and read those little plaques was very difficult but being able to just look at the picture is easy it's big comparatively speaking so being able to to put that on things was a a good boon for me at least yeah. ah more than mine um yeah this is more of the ground floor and the wall itself of this area we're gonna head over to your spot here uh oh, I don't know if I cleaned the house. It may be messy. Uh, to be fair, I sure don't you. even know if I can remember how to get around all of it. I. I don't even think you remember how to get around all of it. I know I am close to you. There because there, yeah, there's the there's my roof. So, this is the secret entrance back doorway into my little area. There's a big difference between my houses and Fai's houses. <laughs> Mine are not built well. He did the mask. Yeah. It's about the only thing that I know how is, or how it is built in this area. I hadn't finished that part yet. That was one of my master, or, uh... This is just laid out right now, like, that's, that's going to be a hot tub area and a pool, and this is going to be the upper game room for the Mafia, because that's kind of what my bases are, is the gathering hub, um, where we hold the meetings, so to speak. <laughs> Trying to find my way around here, which is why I'm zooming around so much. Alright, go in there. And then these are, that's my smithing area and all of my sorted shit. Um, I believe that was going to be my dining room. And this is just areas that I've marked off for uh, kitchens and stuff and places I'm going to put in later. Uh, that goes down into the mine and then there's a little town over there. I a little about, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I have one. I think it's up above, though. The little balcony that I saw earlier coming in? Yeah. What the hell is this? This oh, is... Oh, wait, no, that's a composter thing I built for you. Yeah, yeah. this is um, going to be my mycelium area. Uh, that's that going portal. to be my portal later. Yeah, this yes. is the dining area. More storage. More storage. Mm. And then go upstairs. And go out. No, that's the bedroom again. Yeah. yeah. Go no, back. Yeah. Yeah, there. Go. See, there's that. Hot tub. You can't see it, but if you stop and back up, go back in where that black room was, that's the Mafia meeting room. Uh, we don't know what I'm growing here. Uh, I bet you don't. No, nope, I don't. It's oregano. All right. This is the tree map. Yep. This is the 
or one of the really old maps that I had from my 360. The big old door hinge over here that I built. Yep. yep. Just. I remember. That should be center point for the world. You used to build just random shapes. I think we had a, like a submarine somewhere and uh, big ships and stuff just hanging out. Uh -oh. oh yeah, I remember doing this. Oh. I I drained this whole area by hand the hard way. I filled it all with glass because I didn't understand how to use sponges at the time with them being new at the time that I did this. Oh dear God. Yeah, once I found out how to use them, I kind of gave up on this map. <laughs> Fuck that, I'm not undoing all the glass. Oh my god. That would have been a nightmare. Oh, very, very pretty. Got my little bridge walkway. This will eventually take us up into the tower itself. You just gotta go into the mountain. Good morning. Really? Yes. <laughs> to Morning Woods. Okay. I thought that said BJ for a second. I honestly did. Uh, I think I mean Basement 1 here. Uh, I believe. There's a lot of, yeah, Floor 1. So, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of floors here. Holy shit. I don't build small. I uh, know uh, you never did. But, but wow. wow. Where the hell is my room? <laughs> How big is this place? Big. I, I also have a tendency to build while under the influence, so some of this I may not remember. Shut that. I'm going to take the stairs because everyone needs to get dizzy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Also lets me know where I've been. Uh-huh. Alright. That's the floor. But I hear you down. Down. Uh, nothing in here. Can I get that? No. Never mind. <laughs> oh oh my god, oh, holy shit, know, just take that fucking ladder. Yeah. I like to put my floor down at the base here. Oh, oh. my god. Whoa. Oh. Yep, there we wow. are. Wow. Down at the very base. Wow, uh, that, that, uh, oh, that's some artwork there. I don't even know if this is the right skin pack for it. Oh. My bathroom. With a frog. And apparently a glow squid ink sack. Rick Astley. Go down here. That used to be a chicken egg farm. And now oh. just a bunch of fucking eggs. Greenhouse. What? Well, oh, hey, hey. Pay no attention to those plants. Uh -huh. It's catnip. Boom. And mint. shit. Storage oh, chests. Oh, oh, lava hallway. Saves on lighting. It really does. Keeps it can freaking be. creepers and skeletons and spiders out of shit, too. It, the fuck? Did you see that? That you're going sideways? No, did you see that little blip? No. Where was it? You're going... It was, like, just back there. Okay, yeah, him. Okay, so he blipped into the walkway a couple seconds ago, and uh, apparently is patrolling here for safety. Just in case. Yeah. yeah. Almost gave you a fucking heart attack. I didn't give Danny or anyone a heart attack. More chests. Uh, well, uh, apparently I like fish. Apparently. 
the hell was I doing here? Filling this? Oh. Elf. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you were still mining it out. Oh, Christ. Alright, well. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Main tower is clearly not complete. Is it? This is not the main tower. What the hell? This is a big friggin' hole I left out here. I don't know. This one is. Biscapes. Yeah, I'm not exactly creative with the naming process of these. Hey. What's in the name? Oh my. Oh, couple characters. So we have so Donkey know. Kong art. Uh, karate uh, art. I think this is a bus station or a rail station. Huh. It's been so goddamn long. This is another one that was imported from the 360. Yeah. yeah it's a train station. Hmm. Only one rail connected. Uh, Maybe. There's another red thing over there, so you may have brought it in on the other side. Little stalls. Check out I'm here to see if you out pizza did anything. <laughs> You've got a hut, therefore maybe pizza. Hello. Go up here with a big wall. Oh goodness. Oh, oh yeah, that was that castle that you could take over. Uh that's a windmill or a fan. Windmill, I think. This is a log mill. Yeah. Or was, or was it one time with the new stuff? Who knows? Uh, it does not seem to have all. Um, this building, yeah, the one with the yellow roof there was the uh, team hall for Team Avalanche mm. or Team Coral Isle. Oh, oh, that's right. God damn it. Years ago. Let's go in here. Got a skylight in the roof for access. For access to sunlight. <laughs> for sunlight access. Oh, lights. Oh, fancy schmancy. Always. Gotta have my fire, man. Oh, yes. The big art room. <laughs> the library. Wow. I always have to have a library. Yeah. Just a furnace room. Just a tower. If I remember right, I was going to put floors in these, but I never got around to that. We stopped playing collectively. Well, it kind of... Mm -hmm. Had some issues back then. Yeah, true. I mean, we started playing on the map, and you and Typhon both wound up building some of the buildings in here. And then we just stopped playing for a while. The, up here. No, no. Where's the fucking exit? <laughs> Let me out! Yeah, my smart ass keeps hiding doors and shit, thinking it's cute, but it's not. Anything else in here? I think that's just it. It's a big decorative stone door. Yeah. There we go. Good. Ah. Oh, shit. Alright. Um, that's probably the mine down there. You love to build long hallways, too. Mm-hmm. That's because I usually build across water.
have a thing for castles. Uh -huh. It looks good though. There was a tower That's room fun. where the lava was. Big son of a bitch. Wish I had some of the other ones that I used to have. They were far more detailed than that. Oh. Look at the pretty flowers. Go around the... Is this side entrance? Oh, yeah, that's where the... Okay, this is where the shaft led to. Yeah, and then you could go on down and it goes to your mine, I think. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So then, was there another one down here? What the hell? Just sit up here in the throne room. This one is the Standalorian, and it's one of my favorite maps that Fi has. I just love that demon. This is the North Mythology yeah, North Norse Mythology mashup pack. And this is one that you, me, and Typhon were all running in in survival mode. This is my automatic XP generation farm. Processes cacti into green dye. Folds it into a big bank, which you can see here. The lights indicate its level. And then once it's full enough, you can harvest the XP straight from the chest. Got my berry bushes over there and my room over here. My dogs. <laughs> Belial. Bolerophant. Lucifer. <laughs> I can't remember how many dogs I had in my house. Let's see. Um, what to do here? All my storage. Which now you have all the plaques and stuff you could use. Maps. The map of the local area as far as the neighborhood is concerned. The bamboo for the fuel for the XP farm. All gets grown and harvested here automatically. Or wood if it was still functioning. Mm -hmm. Is it still functioning? I don't know. Those look like cattails now. I don't know. Um, Cactus farm. Yeah. They'll sprout and automatically kill themselves. Create little die chunklets. Spiral staircase. Ah, uh, the pulpit. Uh, cocoa beans? I Press this button here, it floods the area. There are little troughs in that it collect the cocoa beans. You press the button to stop the water again, and then you can collect your bounty down here. I see. And... Looks like... What have we got here? Fuel drop off. So what the hell is the other one? Kelp? Um, sugar, oh, sugar cane. Okay. Oh, goodness. That's the top of my tower. Stairs. Stairs. My larger cactus farm. Goodness. Free for anyone to come by and just grab a cactus. My stables. Ah. Uh, boots. Need to get name tags. Chickens. Chicken. El Polo Loco. Cupcake Fury. <laughs> when you need someone dead, you call Cupcake Fury. Mm, yeah. Cupcake! What the hell, bro? Oh, you did a movie Shout out to everyone who recognizes that reference. Mm -hmm. This is the hallway to go to my place and Typhon's place. Yep. That is my place. Let's go over here, do a little exploring. Why don't y'all fill us in on the sitch? This is my stable area where I have all my little animals. I always put them in an enclosed building because I'm always afraid something's going to attack them. Uh, this is the Mafia HQ, so to speak. Um, my greenhouse is in here. I think I have some armor. Yeah, I have some 
Armor, armor displays. displays. I don't have too many armors on them, but my armor yeah, displays are there. Some fuel. fuel. These are all my storage in my right. blacksmith area. Sparky. Yeah, yes. Sparky, Sparky. I like the use of the little blue blocks here. What the? Hell? If I could remember what the hell Glow those shrooms. are. Glow shroom lamps. There's my babies. Look at all my them. babies. MT of Valley. Harry, I can't read it anymore. Harry Asa. Harry Asa. Anyway, that is the um, light in the day room down there. This is the mafia office. I haven't put the roof on yet. But this will be the uh, sleeping quarters and the mafia work area. This over here is Typhon's area. The wizard tower. Unfortunately, he's not here to explain what everything here is. So, let's see what we can find. It seems to be a little garden there. That's nice. Type of house. Like they call usually them. kind of stay apart from each other, but close. close. So, you know, if we need something, we can run over there. And uh, Typhons is pretty minimalistic. He's much more about the exploration and... And that type of thing, and that's, you know, why well, builds busy. the mechanic stuff, and type, and goes out and explores, and I decorate the houses. Go up here. Clever use of lighting. Yep. Little work area. Like the windows. Yeah. It's got things arranged, and they're really good. As far as for the, the tight space, it's arranged very well. There you go. So yeah, pretty small, but pretty uh, efficiently laid out. Yeah. There's Access to get to the village. And yeah, we live in hell. Appropriate. Yeah. And as you can see, it's still work in progress. And that's the end. <laughs>